I think now I expect to get awarded a contract so quickly. I think that's an important thing is you have to be involved in order to be able to get the most benefit. It is. It's all about perseverance. All right, well, Ryan, it's great to meet you, and uh, we're super excited because you are our first student at War Dogs Academy to actually win a government contract. So it's a big moment for us. We're, uh, uh, you know, when we first launched this, um, we we always thought that uh, a big turning point of our of the War Dogs Academy is going to be when our first student wins a contract because that proves that this is real. This is not just, you know, promising something, a get rich quick scheme or, or anything, you know, buy this course and you're gonna be a millionaire the next day. You know, that's, that's not how it goes, right? It takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication, but if you do it, it's actually can pay off and you could actually win a contract. And so that's why we're so excited to have you um, and to share your story with the community and with everyone to uh, show that, that you went through the process and it actually worked for you. Sure. So, exactly. yeah, so first of all, thank you for you know, joining us here. Yeah, thanks for having me here. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank yeah. You. And, uh, and why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background and what led you up until now? Yeah, sure. So I, I had done a number of nine to five jobs through my life. Um, eventually I reached a point where I had seen where the amount of effort I had put into it um, did not result in the monetary reward that I was expecting. Sure. Um, and so I started my own business uh, last year selling ice baths hmm. and chillers, you know, along that vein. Um, but then I also wanted something more. I talked to my buddy and he and I were trying to brainstorm where we could go further. Um, I had mentioned to him that there was a guy in California I'd met who did government contracting, and it seemed rather lucrative for him. And he had mentioned the War Dogs movie, uh, which I actually had not seen. Oh, wow. And so I uh, got a copy from the library a couple days later, and I uh, watched it and thoroughly enjoyed it. And then I was looking, uh, looking up David Packhouse <laughs> online to see what you were up to. Uh, these days and actually I came across the War Dogs Academy website and I think that was about a week or two before you officially launched mm -hmm. the course um, so I kind of tried to weigh my options I, I kind of see I read everything you had available on the website I looked at uh, you know that PDF you had included the free PDF right um, went to your YouTube channel your Instagram and just get as much information as I could and uh, about, I mean, less than a week later, I had actually decided to pull the trigger mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and sign up and enroll in the course. Uh, and I'm obviously very happy to have done so, having gotten yes. you know, that, that contract. Yeah. Uh, so it's been very good um, having the video course, which I understand you're going to continue growing, yes. right? Um, that was good having that, I think it's like a 75 page PDF, yeah. a textbook, having that to refer to how much excellent, and then of course being part of the community. Mm -hmm. So a lot of questions answered, because there are a lot of questions. Sure. I've had a number of questions, I see a lot of folks on there, and, and having either Anna, the uh, mm -hmm. specialist in contracts, mm -hmm. um, either having her help or having the War Dog admins answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all that's been very much beneficial. And uh, then, yeah, I got my uh, first uh, first contract awarded about a week after the I finished, I completed the course. That's wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah, I, that's you, incredible. Can you walk us through um, the process of bidding and then receiving that contract? Yeah, so on, on this one, I actually didn't even have to um, bid on it because I was still in the process of getting the SAM registration. Uh, it took me three to four weeks until that registration was finalized. And so in the meantime, I actually had uh, someone from the Department of Defense reach out to me, my company directly for ice baths. Wow. And I, at first I thought it was a little bit too coincidental. I thought uh -huh. here I've just completed the course. I'm having someone reach out to me about, hey, are you registered with the government? You know, can you provide these? Mm -hmm. um, but based upon some of the knowledge I had and I could refer to from the course, I reached out to the guy, called him back, and I said, you know, tell me what I can help you with. And initially, because I was not fully registered with Sam, mm -hmm. it looked like it may not work out. They mm -hmm. were looking for somebody that had the, all the paperwork and everything completed. Sure. Um, but I really wanted to have something that was 
past performance that I could just build upon for yeah. future contracts. So I, I call the guy every single day <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I said, you know, this is what we can do for you. This is mm-hmm. how I can help you out. I mean, I, if they wanted me to hand deliver the mm-hmm. product to them in mm-hmm. the Midwest, I was going to mm-hmm. do that. That's fantastic. Yeah. And so I, I told them, you know, this is what we can do for you. We'll, we'll be there for you hundred percent and just, you know, continue along that, that area of reassurance that if you go with me, everything is going to work out to the utmost. Absolutely. Um, and so, uh, he got permission from his, uh, direct superior. And so they said, okay, we'll accept this with an invoice from your company. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and a, a certain kind of form I had to fill mm-hmm. out with the government. Mm-hmm. Um, and they accepted it and then they paid for it, uh, less than a month later. From what you learned in the course, do you think that helped you in going after this contract and be able to fulfill it? Yeah, I, I think that you know, consider looking back and considering what was said and the opportunities presented. If I had not had the exposure to the War Dogs Academy from the videos and the PDFs, um, it may have seemed like too intimidating of a venture to take on. Sure. Um, and not not to say that I want to shy away from opportunity, but I tend to be more skeptical, skeptical about things. And, uh, however, having this base of knowledge, I think allowed me that extra oomph of confidence to pursue it Mm -hmm. and say, yeah, I'm not just going to let this opportunity pass you by. I'm going to, I'm going to follow it up. That's amazing, man. And from my, from what you've told us, it sounds like you've won a couple of other contracts. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been quite providential. So, um, the, this unit who I had supplied, um, they had contacted me and said, listen, you made everything uh, easy for us. It was, it was easy to talk to, easy to work with. Um, we'd like to, you know, if there's anything else that comes up in the future, we'd love to be able to, to ask if you can help. And I said, absolutely. Oh, that's what fantastic. What kind of idiot would I be if I said no? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, it's a one and done deal. No. Um, and so, I mean, less than a month later, uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, can you, can you, get, us, can you get us these drones? Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, let me look into it. Got back to him the next day. I said, yeah, no problem. And uh, worked up a quote after a while, got all the information and data needed and worked up a quote and sent it over. And they said, good, looks good. So uh, it actually, actually, it's going to be a six figure IDIQ uh, or indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity mm-hmm. uh, contract. Yeah, six figures. And hopefully we'll start fulfilling that uh, a little bit later this year, uh, mm-hmm. probably soon to be about September. Oh, nice, fantastic. And then uh, for the ice baths we provided for the same, they actually were so pleased with it that uh, one of the commanding officers actually is authorized to be able to um, have the entire brigade supplied. Amazing. So, Amazing. Yeah. That so, is so awesome. And yeah. how long have you been government tra- contracting up to this point? I mean, I think that our pay- we got paid uh, in May. Yeah. <laughs> so two, two months. Two or months yeah. winning three contracts, one six digits large that's unbelievable yeah yeah, that's yeah. so fantastic. it's been great and obviously i want to build upon that you know yes. have the momentum continue and and just proceed forward um but it, it feels good it, it's validating mm-hmm. i can look at this and say we didn't have just have the one off that i experienced right that i mm-hmm. can say okay i've actually had continued success yeah um now of course it's incumbent upon me to make sure that continues i mean no one's of responsible course. for that but myself absolutely um, of course so I don't want to rest upon my laurels, whatever those may be. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't want to slow down. It makes me mm-hmm. want to ramp up even further. So of course Absolutely. I have other bids I'm doing outside of this that I'm, I'm working on great. that will hopefully yield success. That's amazing. Yeah. You have such a great mindset. And like, if we could just replicate that to other students, you know, that get discouraged, uh, it would be, yeah. I'm so like, I'm honestly very proud of you. You know, like <laughs> not many people get to this point. It's just so, uh, it's so encouraging. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I have the benefit of it was someone told me before they said I'd rather be lucky than skilled mm-hmm. um, but I'll, I'll take kind of a, an amalgam of, of both yeah. and I'll say that I want the luck of opportunity but I want to close it with my skill right absolutely so yeah. you know this this first one was was luck of the approach mm-hmm. but it took it took a certain amount of skill to be able to make sure that was going to be completed mm-hmm. in the way which it was you know yeah. they say the the more skilled you are the luckier you get exactly yeah, right. right exactly right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i'll take it yeah and the harder you work of course it's all about that combination of mm-hmm. being skilled working hard and lucky 
And, yeah. and you need all three. You really do. Yeah, sure. And it really goes, your experience just goes to show you that once you get in the, the door, then it just expands from there. You know, yeah. that first one oftentimes is the hardest thing. But like once you get your foot in the door, that just leads to so many other opportunities and not even necessarily things that are directly related, right? Like you're going from ice baths to drones, mm -hmm. right? Completely right. unrelated, yeah. right. but one led to the other. And now that you have the drones, that'll lead you to more drone contracts mm -hmm. or something tangentially related to that. Yeah. And so it's, it's just, a, it just goes to show you that success builds on success. Yeah. And, and, you know, people think think that uh, you know people tend to think like linearly like I'm gonna win this then this then this then this but really it goes it's an exponential thing right you win very little in the beginning and suddenly boom you win everything exactly. and everything starts pouring in so it's it's to it. have your eye on the prize yeah. and to you know like even if you have some like small measure of success in the beginning just the fact that you had any sort of success is a great indicator that you're going to have great success as long as you keep on doing what you need Absolutely. to do. It means you yeah. have what it takes and now you just yeah. got to build upon that. And those relationships as well that you made with those contracting officers yeah. are very, very uh, key mm -hmm. to your growth moving forward. And we're just, we're so happy for you. Um, one, one thing I wanted to ask, what in, um, in War Dogs Academy do you think helped you the most in this process? Well, I mean, probably because it was it was just a small contract. It was nothing grandiose, but mm -hmm. being able just to have the basics of how to approach a contract mm -hmm. and some of the language, you know, essentially the glossary of terms that mm -hmm. I might be able to wield, right? Because I was exposed to some of that, it felt a little bit more natural. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I, probably to them, I sound like some sort of toddler <laughs> but, you know, as I try to garner experience here, yeah, but. Sure. Um, I think having that exposure, you know, I made sure that things I liked about the videos, you know, I recorded it in OneNote, or if there are terms mm -hmm. that came up mm -hmm. that you guys had used in the videos, I wrote all those down so I could just have that um, to refer to. And so just just the basic knowledge, I think is a, it's a great jumping off point, really. Absolutely. I didn't feel like I need to have a few years worth of experience underneath my mm -hmm. belt. I think that I was able to have a great foundation. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And can you walk us through what being a part of the community is like? Yes, yeah, it's, it's for me. It's enjoyable. Uh, I, I've talked to a few people that I really like uh, to uh, to engage with. In fact, there's one guy who lives less than 100 miles from me, mm -hmm. and he and I talk almost every week. And uh, actually, for him, he uh, he has contacts that I plan on using um, over on the West Coast for packaging needs oh, that's so that's what it's all about exactly, making right. those connections mm, that's yeah. helping so each that, other yeah. that, again that's, that's yeah. gonna benefit me in the future mm -hmm. not to, you know it's not so much that hey they're gonna get me a discount right but having somebody who i can trust right it's very who i know who can yeah. actually come through for me that's yeah. the most important thing I, yeah i don't care as much about getting a little bit of discount here and there mm -hmm. i want to make sure and know that when i'm pursuing something mm -hmm. I have to worry about it falling out from underneath me. Right. Yeah. So exactly. number one priority is yeah. deliver. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, all these other guys are going through the same thing I am. Mm -hmm. Their their you know knowledge base probably like mine was was zero mm -hmm. coming into the academy. Mm -hmm. um, so we're all kind of going through the same pain points. Mm -hmm. We're going through the same challenges and hopefully go through the same victories. Yes, that's amazing. And and everybody helps each other, and that's yeah, that's the yeah. strength of the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't yeah. really seen much in the way of negativity. Everyone's yeah. been pretty <laughs> yeah. pretty uh, darn friendly. Yeah, and, that's great. And helpful. Yeah. and you know if there's something that somebody doesn't know, you know I know whether it's you, David, or mm -hmm. James, Logan, Anna, mm -hmm. someone within that sphere is going to mm -hmm. be able to have the answer. Yeah. So. yeah. And we're bringing in additional experts as well to, yes. to help expand the knowledge base and, mm -hmm. yeah. and provide additional opportunities. And as we grow, we're going to continue to do that. We're yeah. also talking with a, uh, someone to help with SAM registrations in the beginning and getting through that pain point. Um, yeah. So we're very excited with how this is going to scale and what we're going to bring in to bring value. Um, one thing I want to discuss was like, uh, in how, what was your experience with the live Q&As that we do? How was that for you? Yeah, I try to be on each one mm -hmm. because often there's at least one little detail that mm -hmm. I had not considered mm -hmm. um, or something I had wondered myself and it mm -hmm. gets answered. And so I try to be on each one and Anna is so great and mm -hmm. she 
gives everyone their due time. Mm -hmm. There's never been a time where she's cut someone off and she mm -hmm. makes sure that they feel completely comfortable. If they have, like, there is one student I can think of who had maybe seven questions. Yeah. In yes. one yeah. I know what you're but, talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but she wanted to be there for them and Absolutely. help them. And, and yeah. she has a really good heart. So yeah, she does. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Anna is an ex contracting officer. So what she used to work inside of the government receiving goods for, and receiving proposals. So she gives a great look on the other side of the coin. So we give the vendor side how to sell to the government. She gives how to create good proposals and see what the government wants to see, which is a great view. It's a 360 degree view of the whole government process. And Anna is a very big key uh, to that equation. And uh, we're very happy to have her. Anna, shouts out to you. <laughs> Thank you Shout so out much. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. Yeah, she's nice. I've had a couple yeah. of one-on-ones yeah. with her and she's been very helpful yeah. answering anything I, I need. So yeah, mm -hmm. she's a, to me, she's one of the biggest benefits of the War Dogs Academy mm -hmm. is yeah. that direct access to her, scheduling a one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge. Yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And how have those one-on-ones been with you and Anna? Yeah, they, they've been great. I mean, very little mockery from her. <laughs> <laughs> just a yeah. little. Yeah, just, I mean, it always has to be a requisite yeah. mockery, right? No. She's been great. You know, when I ask her, you know, how is this approach that I'm taking? How does that sound? Does it seem like it's going to be adequate? Does it seem appropriate? And she'll give me honest feedback. You know, she's had suggestions for resources for me to utilize and just kind of give a more uh, real world look at it. You know, stuff mm -hmm. I've seen online myself, you know, some of it can seem, if not exactly esoteric, it seems a little too far out there. Mm -hmm. but being able to speak to Anna gives me a little bit of that. You know, okay, she's been there, she's done that, and mm -hmm. she's, she's given me you know, the real deal. Right. So it's, it's comforting. Yeah, it's fantastic. Way. It's you know that uh, when, you're, when you talk to her, you get that government perspective. So you know how your proposal is going to be received because right. she was the one receiving the proposal exactly. for her entire career. Right. So it's, it's uh, an incredible insight to have. And I think it, it's a, a real competitive advantage that our students have is to have that, uh, that insight. Completely. Um, because most people, most government contractors, when they go into it, you know, I mean, you talk to the contractor over the phone, uh, but you don't really know, you know, their mindset or like what part of the proposal is going to be important to them, what mm -hmm. things are going to stick out, what, you know, which part of your proposal is weak. And so to have somebody to review your proposals before you submit it to the government who has that experience is just, I think, greatly increases your chances of winning. Right, I agree. Absolutely. And she's never been impatient with me or yeah. anyone else. I've, I've ever, whenever I hear her on the Q and A's, mm -hmm. there's never been a single time where she's come across as uh, this is frustrating or anything like that. She just, I, she, really, it seems like she enjoys it. She does. Yes, so. She really yeah, does. She yeah. really does. Um, so to bring it back, you know, you have been. Did you ever think that success in government contractor would become would come to you so quickly? I mean, I didn't even, <laughs> even think about doing government contracting until this spring. So, yeah. um, you know, of course, that's something you hope for is whenever you start an endeavor, you want to be successful, especially when putting your time and effort into it. Sure. Um, so I did not expect what occurred. I did not expect to get awarded a contract so quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I thank God I, I, I did get that so quickly. But like I said, I want to build upon it. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, it's been it's been awesome. I, I you guys have seen me. You know I'm on the on the website on yeah. a regular basis. I really yes. like the community yeah. and being involved. I think that's an important thing is you have to be involved in order to be able to get the most benefit. Absolutely. That's right. So yeah, you know, the, I've yeah. seen you know some people seem to come and go, right? Um, and I haven't seen those folks announce anything about getting a contract. And mm -hmm. so I think those um, who do stick with it, they're the ones who are you know like Frank. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that guy just kept applying, 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 Jay Quell, same mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. those two guys sticking with it, going mm -hmm. to the Q and A's, asking questions, mm -hmm. they are both gotten uh, awarded contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it the just proof goes is in the pudding, right? It is. It's so. all about perseverance. It's all about That's perseverance. Right. The people who, you know, just try for a little and give up they're never gonna i mean that's everything in life absolutely you know and there's nothing in life that that uh that you can do you know for one week and expect instant success no. i right. mean it can happen but the likelihood is very low and yeah, so, we all can't get yeah. uh, major yeah. uh, laundromat deals or first <laughs> yeah. contract yeah, 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 no. <laughs> all right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah but even even you know logan and james they they may have gotten lucky in the beginning but then they went through a dry spell and yeah, it's that's right it's that perseverance and they almost quit 
through that dry yeah, we spell did. because it was so long and mm -hmm. so difficult and yeah and it, you know the perseverance really came into play there to continue going and then they took their business to greater heights than it ever had been before mm -hmm. just because they were willing to persevere through that dry spell that is exactly right so, one thing i've realized everything that's worth putting your time into anything that's going to change your life or has any fulfillment or meaning to it it's going to come with a lot of pain points and you're going to have mm -hmm. to fight battles that you never thought you were capable of and, and overcome things that you never thought you were going to be able to pass mm -hmm. and like your past you know three years ago probably wouldn't have been able to do it but you're in the right scenario and and it it really makes it so much more satisfying when you finally achieve that success and and you're able to bring yourself into another area of life it's a whole new level of confidence you feel competent to take on bigger tasks and it, it's one of the most amazing things is getting through those obstacles. Cause then you feel like I can do fucking anything. And that's something that I've realized about um, going through those obstacles and those pain points. It's, uh, it's quite a fascinating growth of a human being going through that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So Ryan, before you got uh, started with War Dogs Academy, mm -hmm. had you had any experience with government contracting? Did you know anyone doing government contracting? I mean, I had had zero, zero experience. And mm -hmm. the only knowledge I had about government contracting was just the conversation I had one day with a guy who was on the West Coast mm -hmm. who did government contracting himself mm -hmm. and, and explained kind of what he did. I mean, that was years ago. Uh -huh. And I just happened to be speaking about it with my buddy. So no, I before this, no knowledge or experience whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. zero that's that's so cool because it, it just goes to show you that you can start literally from zero yeah. and within the space of a month win a contract yeah. and now you won three contracts mm -hmm. yeah. and you're off to the races i mean you're you're looking at at expanding your business into mm -hmm. different vectors and mm -hmm. it's yeah, just certainly. it's just opened up a whole new world for your business so, yeah. and it's it's very gratifying for us to be part of that yeah and it's it's great I, yeah. first of all i enjoy it yeah. It, even though there's some tedious aspects to the government mm -hmm. contracting, you know, certainly I don't enjoy reading a 125 page <laughs> yeah. contract. Yeah. That's you don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um, but but I like the feeling of accomplishment I get, not just from being awarded the contract, mm -hmm. but when I'm sending off a, a bid. Mm -hmm. You know, I, that's something I've taken my time doing. Something that I've been able to say I can be satisfied with what the work I put into this. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, hopefully that ends up in me being awarded. But sure. It's still greatly satisfying, and you know one of the reasons I wanted to do government contracting is because I want to build something for my family. Yeah, you know I want my wife and daughter to have the best life possible. Absolutely. And doing government contracting, it's you know it's not seasonal. It's no. it's not a fad. Yeah. If there's a recession, there's still opportunity available. Sometimes even more opportunity yeah, right, because right the government right cranks up the spending when the economy goes down. Yeah, so, so there's more. It, it allows me to build something that, should she want it, someday my daughter can mm. take over when she's of age and That's she amazing. can. So yeah. I want to leave a, a legacy. And mm. so, this, in my opinion, doing this is something that will afford me the opportunity. Mm. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, would you say that's, that's really your nice. purpose? In that's what's giving you this drive yeah i mean the whole reason i'm doing government contracting mm -hmm. is for my wife and daughter mm -hmm. and because of course they're my greatest inspiration they're mm -hmm. my, the greatest aspect of my daily living so anything i do for positive reasons is, is for them mm -hmm. and so having government contracting where i'm not required to be in any given one place mm -hmm. any given time and something that allows me that when i put my full effort and ingenuity into something mm -hmm. it has a much greater chance of yielding me larger monetary awards than if I'm like for certainly for me that nine to five jobs I did in the yeah. past I put in a ton of effort but I didn't see six figure results from right it. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm most excited about is yeah you know, I told you guys the other contract I got six figures yeah you know, amazing yeah and, and and just in that one contract you're making a year's worth of salary and profit it's it's fantastic it's, yeah yeah and yeah. and an additional benefit is that because you're your own boss you have that flexibility of right. when you want to work you can be there for your wife and daughter to do the important things and be there for the important events of their life mm -hmm. you don't have to be a wage slave uh you know where you have to clock in at the office and miss yeah. you know your your daughter's you know activities and right. the things that she wants to do so it's it's just uh, the quality of life that you are building for yourself is is just it's an inspiring thing 
Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's well said. Yeah. My daughter's about to start ballet next month. Nice. And so I refuse yeah. to miss oh, you know, a single <laughs> a single practice, a single recital, whatever. That's, that's yeah. I do not want to miss that. How so old is she? She's six. Oh, yeah, that's just a great age. Six last month. Great yeah. age. So that's great. Yeah. I don't want to miss a thing. Mm -hmm. And so doing something that gives me that flexibility mm -hmm. with time. Uh, yeah. is a course will be the, the highest priorities for me. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic, yeah. man. That's, that's wonderful. Cool.